Welcome back to Gran Hacamito and the Pedroche Valley of Andalusia, Spain. These palovnias are establishing themselves nicely, and these calves need an inspection of their eyes because during summer there is a lot of nasty things that can get in their eyes, and that would be very bad. So the guys will now take them to the cattle sorting facility <coughs> where we have a squeeze chute and can have a good look at their eyes without them running away. This little lamb was looking on curiously and is now finding her way back to the flock. It helps to do this frequently because this way they get used to being moved around which makes changing paddocks every day a lot easier. This little fellow escaped, but he doesn't want to be alone. So in he goes as well. Now each one gets both eyes looked at and if they are clear and okay then they can go and if not whatever is stuck in there gets removed and we also have a solution that we can spray onto the eye to help them and that way we won't have any calves lose their eyes which would be very sad remember the half blind cow <laughs>
que no tienes nada. Ahí está la piacha para afuera. Abrecelo a ver si la vaya a dar güey. Abrecelo. You can't tell an animal to hold still and this is good for you. So you need to do these kinds of things or something bad will happen if nobody would be around to actually do this yeah. for them. It doesn't matter if this is a domesticated animal or a wild one. The wild one just died. Ali? Ali? This is the calf that was kicked aside and punched mm -hmm. with the horns by a bull who was about to mount the cow. They don't care, they just go for it. And we are now struggling to keep this one alive. The flies lay their eggs in there and then the larvae eat the flesh. And we hope that the lung hasn't been punctured by a rib. We got instruction from our vet and will now inject an antibiotics and an inflammatory medicine to help this calf and hopefully it works out. Eso le va a ayudar. The other day we had the cows in here and they were munching on all this. They have not finished it, but they had filled their belly with some green material, which is good. And there they left a lot of manure, so that was good. They have been here some 24 hours. So once in a while we can do this. While we wait for the straw to be delivered, I can also say that down there at the creek, which is the outflow of the water reservoir, more and more plants are growing. This has been only a little bit in the very beginning. And now that we use this here and there to graze, we get a lot more of those plants. So grazing is helpful. Today we decided to use the easy method of unloading. We will just move the truck forward and the bales will fall off in the back.
prices have also gone up. This is now 200 euro more. What you see there is almost 1200 euro worth of straw. Pretty expensive now. Shade on the other hand is priceless and I wish we had more of it. But it will come. Today we are taking the cow with the big wound in her back to the squeeze chute to treat her. This is taking a while and hopefully it will work out. And we are using the calves to ease the process because a single animal is very hard to get to a certain place. They are herd animals and they always want to stay together, which makes a lot of sense. When there is an opportunity, the horses also want to be curious and see what is going on. That is in the nature. Horses are very curious creatures. The bull that you can spot there to the left is the one that had been fighting with the other bulls and he got hurt. So we keep him here alone in order to prevent additional fighting. And as you can see, he has problem in the hind leg and in the foreleg. So he is in pretty bad shape, but he is standing, which is good. And he has some company by the sheep and the horses on the other side of the fence, where also his water source is. So he is not alone, but he is protected from the other bovines. While he cannot be with the other bovines, we bring him straw and alfalfa pellets, so that he can heal. Now in case you cannot see blood and flesh, please skip the next segment. We are about to treat a very large wound that this cow has in her back. We are trying to save her, but if you cannot see such things, please skip. It is getting better, step by step, but there is the bone still fully exposed. And I really wonder, will this ever close? Will the flesh come back? I have a feeling this cow will have a hole in her back for the rest of her life, if she survives all this. 
she seems to be okay, except for that hole. But it's kind of a miracle that this animal is still standing. A human would scream and definitely be unconscious. No, gusanos no tiene. Porque las ovejas no se lo dejan, desde luego. The liquid in there is betadine, it is infected. This is not blood. It is also used to treat wounds in humans. It just disinfects the wound. And once again we fill the wound with grease, the one that we also use for the tractor. Échale así en el rabo y en todo eso que ahí tiene sangre y eso que no le llegue la mosca. Échale ya spray de la de la de las moscas. ¿Cuándo llega el el otro paquete? De las moscas. The white thing there in the wound are larvae, Pero but in this case they are dead, thankfully. Tiene gusano puro muerto. Ya se la ha cerrado, eh. Once again, we are using our now trusted method to plant trees with the help of our excavator. As you can clearly see, even the machine with the powerful hydraulics has a very hard time to get into this soil. This is pure geology. There is not a lot of biomass in there, which is why it is so compacted and so hard. So this is the only way. Across from the planting site is our compost pile for, sorry, dead animals. But their nutrients will be useful for all this in the future. There is no loss. It's a cycle, the cycle of life and death. And we try to keep all nutrients on site. We try to dig as deep as the bucket is in size and the hope is that the roots of the trees can create enough power by growing so that they can further penetrate what is underneath to give the tree a head start. It seems to be working because in all the places where we did this those palovnia trees are developing as they are supposed to, very fast. 
you can watch them day by day become bigger. We keep them out of the shade provided by the two oak trees that are nearby because we learned that the Palovnias like full sun. These Palovnias here are growing very well. So this whole idea of using the excavator to loosen up the soil was a good one. And this morning we also received some seed for some ground cover and we will put this there tomorrow so that the ground is covered with something. It's Bermuda grass and some sort of um, clover so that this also becomes a little bit nice. It will be the dog enclosure later on but that's not a problem and while we do other things and while the dog enclosure also gets enclosed. Um, there is plenty of time for this to establish itself and then not be a problem anymore. That Mongolian yurt will also find a different place while this happens so that we can also put a few more things there. The idea is to make this nice. I also have on order some bamboo that should go around the perimeter and you will see what kind of bamboo is but it's one that uh, grows fast and I have to admit it's a running bamboo but it should not be a problem because the soil is so hard and so difficult I don't expect this bamboo to run away so the idea is to get a small system going in here to see something nice every day and later on have shade here on purpose, I'm not stepping in there, I'm staying at a distance so that you can see how tall the vetiver has already grown. It has rooted, reached the water and with the heat it is able to go up and it looks very very nice. You can't see the other one that is behind this little, little corner there, but it goes in a similar way. And even this is also taking off. So this seems to be successful. Of course this is not the farm. This is just a tiny little experiment. But as I mentioned earlier, we are going to work on a lot smaller areas now and use the bovines to cover the vast piece of land that we have here. Well, it's not that vast, but for a human it's uh, very, very big. So we are trying to cover smaller areas and get some vegetation going in there, while the bovines take care of the rest by grazing when they can graze. And at the moment we use them to fertilize a piece of land so that later we can then use the pigs and set trees and shrubs and do this kind of thing. Our oldest Palovnia trees here in what we call B1 are still standing and they are growing despite all the difficulties. Those were the ones that died and came back because we drilled a hole and then they got waterlogged in that hole and had all kinds of problems. But by now, apparently, they have penetrated the hard soil and are growing. This is a very pleasant surprise. This is now the first time that this tree and three others of the same kind are making flowers. So that is very positive and we can tell this is now established. It is a nitrogen fixing tree. This was it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting and the images of the wound were not too bad for you. Please come back in a few days to see how we continue.